Clip Bricks here, and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on a Lego Ninjago set. This is set number 70733, Blaster Bike. It includes 212 pieces, recommended for ages 7 through 14, and when this set was originally released, it retailed for $19.99. Here's a look at the box. Included is the instruction manual, bags one and two, two tires, and two tube pieces. Alright, so overall what's included is two minifigures, a little dragon thing, a bike, two screamers, and some accessories, as well as a little extra studs. Alright, let's get started with the minifigs. Alright, so this is Cowler, the ghost, and the villain in this set. He looks pretty cool from the outside. He has these neon orange legs. The uh, torso piece is purple. The hands are these, this weird color that's used in the ghost set that's not glow in the dark, but it kind of looks like it would be. The torso is cool. Definitely looks really neat with some different robe printing on there. around he's got some more little printing to show this is his ghost nest his head is completely neon orangish yellow green color and his um head is one of those hats in purple removing the mask there's a better look at his face print definitely is really cool when they print on transparent and this is Cole, just a standard Cole figure. He's got a pretty cool outfit on. He's got some nice leg and torso printing to show his black and gray robes. Little medallion thing in the center, turning it around. Can't see the back printing because of his sold sword holder, which I'll take off in a minute. And then, moving to the top, he's got this really cool dual molded mask. Without the mask and sheets, you can see better the back printing. He's got his little elemental symbol, as well as some weapons, and a look at his face. These are the screamers included with this set. They're pretty cool. This one includes a little hot dog sausage. The same, really, except for they each have a different face print. It's a pretty cool mold. They've got these rigid hands that can hold on to things and a uh, funny thing is they can actually fit over a minifig head so you can make them like fit on top of Cole's head like that the accessories included with the set are that hot dog that I showed earlier a little scythe thing for Cole looks kinda interesting and Trans black arrow blade with black spikes and a little orange stud on it. And this little ghost sword. Which is really cool. It's got this dual moldedness. So it's like ghost sword. Pretty cool. Next, there's this little dragon build included for the ghosts. It's got a lot of this ghost color on it. I do like these are the swords on it. Pretty cool. I like the those pieces there. Very basic. Not ball joints, so it can just um all it can do is go up and down like this. Can't turn its head side to side. Same with the tail. The tail can move all like this. But and it can move actually side to side. The head might be the worst part about this. This kind of looks a little weird. It's hard to build a head at this scale. I do like these with the toothpiece though. It looks okay, but once you realize that it's supposed to be with a minifigure, it just looks kind of weird. 
almost seems like poly bag quality to me personally I just don't really like this thing all right but here's the final part of the set and this is the part I like the best the blaster bike all right so here it is these are the same size of tire on each side with the little gold inserts inside it's got these nice little pieces here it could be like spikes that you're driving in Moving up, there's a, um, these little solid silver tubes right there. And most of it's all covered up with this big panel piece. I'm not actually sure if I like that, having it all covered up with one big panel piece. It's kind of cool. There's these um, dark, uh, I think that's like reddish brown um, rock pieces right there. Moving over here. There's a nice console piece with an exhaust, and this is where you place in the minifigure. So to do that, you angle the hands like this. See the minifigure down? Kind of like slide them in there. It's pretty difficult. Slide his feet in there, and then just clip his hands on like that. That's how you get the minifigure on. There's this little um, flag up there that has Cole's Elemental Animal stickered on on both sides. The only print in this set is that, actually. The rest of this is, are stickers, except for the torsos and the ghosts. Those are prints, too, but I mean on the vehicle itself. So you can angle this to try to make it seem like it's going a little faster. It's like bent down. Or you could just have it straight up. Anyways, moving back, the same wheel. These nice sword pieces in a golden exhaust. Pretty cool. More stickers. Over here, this is the main weaponry of the set. It's right there. And then you can pull them out like that. They're not, um, you pull out separately. They're not linked at all. But then you just pull them out and it's two six shooters. Which that gives you 12 studs. You can control it using this gear. You can just totally destroy any ghosts. If you haven't seen one of these stud mechanisms before, it works by having that thing spinning. If you can see there's a little knob right there that spins. And the clutch power of the studs is so strong that when it just knocks it off, it shoots like that. Alright, so that's the bike. The blaster bike. I guess it's called the blaster bike because you got 12 studs on there, but pretty cool. Like the detail. Don't feel like it was too many stickers, but I definitely think you kind of do need some stickers for a giant panel piece like that. Dragon. Meh. Don't really like the dragon. I do like the ghost figure though. Pretty cool. The screamers are cool. They're neat. Accessories are pretty cool. The arrow blade. Hold on. Cool set. I really like it, I think. I definitely don't like the dragon, but I do like the blaster bike. Please share your opinion of this set in the comment section below. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.